Good morning, I'm Carly Shimkus here with your Fox News update on Facebook Watch. President Trump could shut down the U.S.-Mexico border as soon as today amid an unprecedented surge of illegal crossings. The White House warning the president is serious about his threat. It certainly isn't a bluff. You can take the president seriously, and here's why. You're giving those metrics. What he's looking at is that 4,000 migrants apprehended in one day recently. We're on track this month for close to 100,000. We have never seen a surge like this. President Trump has cut off about $500 million in aid to El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, where a majority of the migrants are coming from. Mexico is now stepping in to help by busing migrants back to those countries and announcing plans to revamp their humanitarian visa program. Well, 2020 Democratic presidential candidates have continually blasted President Trump's immigration policies, but even former President Obama's Homeland Security Chief Jay Johnson now admitting that the problem is bigger than Democrats want to admit. By anyone's definition, by any measure, right now we have a crisis at our southern border. Uh, according to the commissioner of CBP, there were 4,000 apprehensions in one day alone this past week, and we're on pace for 100,000 apprehensions on our southern border this month. That is by far a greater number than anything I saw on my watch in my three years as Secretary of Homeland Security. And former Nevada GOP chair Amy Tarkanian telling Fox and Friends first uh, that Democrats are letting politics drive their immigration stance. Unfortunately, we have a very polarized um, political atmosphere where you've got the left that they're going to be kicking and screaming against anything that the president um, brings forward, um, even if it's against the, the safety of the citizens of our country, it seems. In the past nine days, Border Patrol reports they have had 1,000 apprehensions per day. Massive number there. All right, a young ISIS fighter is executed by the terror group after being accused of spying. The baby-faced jihadist known as Obama bin Bieber is believed to be the first, uh, Osama rather, bin Bieber, my apologies there, is believed to be the first British ISIS fighter killed by the extremists for spying. ISIS officials reportedly told British media he was put to death after revealing the location of a high-ranking ISIS official. Well, chilling new video shows a college student, Samantha Josephson, climbing into a car that she thought was her Uber, only to be murdered soon after. This is surveillance video showing Samantha leaving a Columbia, South Carolina bar and getting into a black Chevy Impala. Tragically, her body was found later that day in a rural area with numerous wounds. Josephson's family now sending a serious warning to everyone who uses ride-sharing apps. You guys have to travel together. If there's somebody else in the car, there's actually a chance. And I don't want anybody else to ever go through this again. I can't tell you how painful this is. The police have arrested the owner of that car, 24-year-old Nathan David Rowland. But he did not show up for a jail hearing this weekend. He will be behind bars until his bond hearing. Today, Chicago police officers will protest outside the city's prosecutor's office in the wake of the Jussie Smollett case. The department is demanding the FBI to intervene following Cook County State Attorney Kim Fox's decision to dismiss all 16 felony charges. The Empire actor is accused of faking a racist hate crime against himself in January. One of those protesters, Martin Pribe, who is the second vice president of the Chicago Fraternal Order of Police, tells Fox and Friends first that they hope this uh, will call attention to the need for accountability in Chicago. I, I truly hope that uh, the federal authorities conduct a, a thorough investigation and they follow the evidence where it leads. Uh, we've noticed a, a significant change in the Department of Justice from the Obama administration to the Trump administration. Uh, and we believe Chicago desperately needs that. Reverend Jesse Jackson and others are planning a rally in support of Fox today. 
Well, this Democratic Socialist will be on newsstands across the country today. New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is Time Magazine's newest cover girl. Time describing the 29-year-old as the phenom and America's lightning rod. The far-left ideas that are shaking up Washington. Right now, Ocasio-Cortez is facing major backlash for comparing the impact of climate change to 9-11 while pushing her Green New Deal. But many on social media reacting to whether or not she should be the face of the Democratic Party. Randy tweets, they are a match made in heaven. She embodies everything the Dem Party has become and aspires to. Helen on Facebook says she has to be replaced. She is nothing but trouble. She has already cost so many jobs and money, and she is proud of herself. Molly on Instagram says, well, yeah, she represents exactly what they stand for. Not only is she the poster child of today's Democrats, but she is the product of the Democrats. Chick-fil-A gets its wings clipped for a second time at a second airport, Buffalo Niagara International Airport in New York, nixing plans for a new location following backlash about the company's anti-LGBT stance. Last month, San Antonio City Council voted to include, exclude Chick-fil-A uh, from its airport there. Texas is investigating whether the move is against the law. Chick-fil-A insists it has no political agenda and does not discriminate. Well, this is not an April Fool's prank. Several restaurant chains are serving up freebies today. Oh, this is exciting. Some include the Cheesecake Factory giving away 25 bucks towards any delivery on the DoorDash app for the first 10,000 people to claim the reward. Taco Bell is offering a free small Pepsi or Mountain Dew Baja Blast Zero Sugar with any mobile pickup order. And Dunkin' Donuts is giving away free hash browns every Monday in April. Eat up. Denim diapers are the latest pricey fashion trend. Uh, French fashion label Y Project is selling them for more than $300 a piece. I am so distracted by that image that you're seeing on your screen there. They first de debuted last fall on stage in Paris Fashion Week. The denim diapers are part of the company's spring and summer collection. Can that be an April Fool's Day prank? That is quite the sight. And those are your top headlines. I'm Carly Shimkus with your Fox News update on Facebook Watch.